Today I'm going to show you the process video for a pocket letter that I am making Danny. Obviously the pocket letter is not here because it's not done yet. This is a process video. So I am going to be doing her a space pocket letter in her last or one of her last pocket letters to me. I sent her a page to our mail tag. She sent it back and she said that she would like a space, I can't remember if it was space, outer space or whatever, pocket letter but I have chosen to make her a space one and I'm really excited. It's taken me a long time to get it done because I did like special order a lot of really cool things and I've been waiting for them to come in so Danny, I'm super sorry for it taking so long but I really hope that it was worth the wait. I'm going to show you the main supplies. I'm using this Space Age glitter paper pad. I bought this off of scrapbook.com by Best Creation. I've never heard of them, but everything is glittery and who doesn't want glitter? So I'm going to show you the pages. Um, like I said, it's not done yet, so I don't know if I'm using all of these or half of these, but these are double-sided and like I said, these are like raised and glittery. So we have little spaceships and then that. There's two of each. An astronaut, a solar system. This one's really cool. I think she would really like this one. It says like bow, bow, buzz, zap, crash, pow. And again, it's all glittery and rays. And that one's like psychedelic. Then we have a stripe one. It says light years away and raised with glitter. This one's just mine so they can write things. Then we have a blue men on the moon. That one's really cool too. That one's like a newspaper. That's cool. It's upside down. But that's really cool. Then like a solar system. And like an orbit mate. Is that what it's called? That one's cool too. I think she'll get a, a kick out of these. These I think I might cut up and like send along as a card. Like a die cut type thing and then these. Also in the pack were these little like cut out things which I think are really cute. I think it'd be really cute to wrap the pocket letter in this but it came like this. It's like a die cut. The other way around obviously but um, they kept falling out so I just punched them all out but that's those. So let me go ahead and get into the process. Before I do the shaker pocket, I wanted to show you what I got for the inside because I feel like once I'm like in the groove and speeding forward, I'm not going to remember where these are from. So I knew that I wanted to do something like super awesome and customizable. So I found all of these wooden veneers that are space themed and I'm not going to use all of these in the pocket letter. I'm going to send some of them along um, but I will put a link to these down in the down bar uh, they have so they have like over 400 listings I think I'm gonna put that in there I also searched for a galaxy type glitter and I found this this is from lunariascraft.etsy.com and it's called galaxy but it has the prettiest purpley blue glitter mix and it's like flaky it's not actual glitter so I thought that was really pretty and then I found these these are from the jewelry section at Hobby Lobby I hope my lighting is okay I'm sorry if it's like super glary or not enough let's turn that down maybe they are just holographic stars which I thought would also be perfect and then I found these gems from Michaels they are just gems but they're super like holographic-y and I thought they would look really nice in there. So I'm using a plain, not plain black, but a black background and it does have a little bit of glittery on there but I thought maybe that all of this would stand out against that the best. So I'm just going to speed this up and hopefully I use all this stuff but who knows. Okay, so first I'm going to put in the little rocket ship and then the gems, just a couple of them. Then I'm going to put in the galaxy glitter. I did not touch it because it, it was super thin. It would go everywhere. So I just grabbed some tweezers and grabbed some and put it in there. And then I'm going to put in the holographic stars and seal it up with my fuse tool. 
So there is the shaker. The little flakies probably aren't the best, but super holographic and cute. It has a little spaceship in it. For the next one, I wanted to add a little UFO picture. So I printed it out to kind of look like a Polaroid. I just Googled a UFO picture and uh, printed that out again with my Polaroid dip. I ink the sides as I always do, put it on some of the paper, cut it down to size, and then put it inked it and put it down onto another piece of paper. I wanted to add a little bit of something to it, so I chose these rub-ons from the Pop Fizz Paper January Kit. I believe they're still available on popfizzpaper.com, so I just did the Be Yourself. It was hard to get it on the glossy paper, but I kind of like how it looks distressed. And then behind there, I'm putting some stickers that I got from a shop. I can't remember the name of it, but I will put it in the down bar. It is basically just like galaxy and astronauts and stars and stuff. Okay, for the next card I forgot to record, but I just took one of these. I ink the side, cut it down, and then I'm inking the doily and I'm going to fix that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stop talking and fast forward on this. Now that I've attached the doily, I'm going to cut it out. This one was kind of a hot mess. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with it. So as you can see, I was putting up and down a bunch of little different eye die cuts. Those were things that I made from some clip art. And then I couldn't decide how I wanted to set it up so you could see me cutting out a bunch of different things. I eventually said, forget it. Just put him down, inked him, put him down, and then put mail tag with some regular Mombi letters. This pocket is going to be for the page flag, so I put down a gold heart doily from the dollar spot. I didn't really decide what I was going to do, so I put some washi down for decoration, and then I eventually decided to do a pocket, so it kind of covered that up, but also at the same time, it will show once she takes the page flags out, so it's okay. I, go, I went ahead and inked some paper stapled it down to make like a little pocket in the front, put page flag down with some Mombi stickers, and then put the adorable little space page flags in there. Those are from Girl on the Home Front, and then I included some to the back. For the paper pocket, I decided to add a little outside decoration. I've never really done that before, and I wanted this to kind of look like the ray was coming down like the UFO was. So I put some gold paper on there and then put the UFO at the bottom to, like I said, look like it's sucking up the UFO like always. I had a really hard time figuring out what I wanted to do with this pocket as well, but I chose to do a little ripped thing that says paper. The glitter alphas are from a New York City paper pack that I got, and then I'm just including some papers. I used one of the scalloped little papers to make a pocket. And then I printed out some die cuts and put them in the pocket and then decorated again with a little astronaut dude and then put dies at the top saying that these are die cuts. I think this one turned out really cute. The next card I created my own pattern with some washi. The stripe washi is from Target. The blue washi is from Michaels. The gold washi is from I don't remember where. And the silver washi is from Target. The ones from Target are Scotch brand. Like I said, I just made my own little pattern out of washi. This is the pocket for the clips. I cut out a little piece of like the newspaper one with the shuttle on it. Put it on a yellowy orange background because I like to layer things and you will see that now. And I'm cutting it down to size. Inked it up because you know that's how I do. 
and I couldn't figure out how I wanted to do the other side. Eventually I decided to rip this paper and put clips and then I decided to change it to clip off, kind of like blast off, but clip instead so you will see me putting down clip and then removing it because I got this brilliant idea. And then I put a little earth dude clip art thing that I made at the bottom to add a little bit. And then I put clips in it, sealed it up with a little spaceship sticker, and then put a flag clip in the pocket. This one might be another one of my favorites. I cut out a little astronaut dude from this paper and I layered him with some black paper and then I put him on an inventory card. I can't remember where it's from. It might actually be from the Pop is paper set. And then I put a little hashtag on it. I was going through my die cuts trying to figure out what did I want what I wanted to put on there, but I chose a little glittery hashtag and then put bling at the bottom because I put bling behind the pocket. I thought it was pretty genius. Hashtag bling. I sealed that down with some Tombow Aqua and then I of course put a star out of wood. For this one I had a hard time too. You will see me doing a lot of different things. I just wasn't happy with it. I did eventually end up doing the newspaper and I was going through papers here like I said just trying to figure things out. I changed a lot of things a lot and sometimes when that happens I just finally go with something and put it down and then once it's down it's kind of final and I have to go with it. So here I am cutting some gold paper and then you can see me changing again not being able to figure it out but I just went ahead and put that news article down kind of like sealing it in and then the rest just kind of fell into place. I put some die cuts behind there. It was hard to get them in so I kept them in and you can see me putting the card on top. And then here we have the final pocket letter. Looking back now, I wish I would have put some washi or something to cover up that blank spot above the shaker pocket, but it's okay, I guess. Then finally, we're wrapping it up. I put some of those scallop papers together wrapped it with some tulle and some ribbon and then I put some space stickers on the inside. There is another project that I sent with it but I'm doing it in a separate video so if you want to see that stay tuned probably until tomorrow. Last but not least I added some space pens which is from a Willow's plan box a couple months ago. There was like eight in the package and I have a lot left over. It was perfect for the theme. So that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see you in my next video.